In this video, I'll go over how to set up the LinkedIn Bookmark Manager through Docker on a Synology NAS. And while LinkedIn considers itself a bookmark manager, in my case, the way I'm using it is as a tab manager. Before implementing LinkedIn, I had over 30 tabs open in my browser, which was completely unorganized and made it difficult for me to find a tab that I wanted to go back to. Also, the number of tabs took up additional system resources which affected the system performance of my MacBook. Now my setup is much more organized where I have the LinkedIn Bookmark Manager open in one tab and only the sites I am currently working on open in the other tabs. You can also see that the CPU and memory usage on my MacBook dropped by using this approach. If you use tabs like I did in the past, you may want to consider giving LinkedIn a try. For further details on LinkedIn, I'll link to their GitHub page in the description below. Now let's get to setting things up and I'll first start by installing Docker from the Package Center. Once Docker is installed, I'll bring up Control Panel, Terminal and SNMP and enable the SSH service. We'll need to use the command line for some of the setup of LinkedIn. Next, I'll bring up Docker from the main menu once open, I'll select Registry and search for LinkedIn. I'd like to use the first image listed, so I'll select it, then click Download. And I'll select the latest tag as well. Next, I'll click on Image and wait for the LinkedIn image to finish downloading. Once downloaded, I'll select the image, then click Launch to bring up this Create Container window. From this network window, nothing changes, so I'll click Next. Under General Settings, I'll give the container a name and enable Auto Restart. For port settings, I'll use 9090 for the local port to match the container port because I know my Synology NASP isn't using that port number. Under Volume Settings, I'd like to link a folder to the container to have data be persistent. So I'll first bring up FileStation and create a LinkedIn subfolder under the Docker folder. Now I'll click Add Folder and select the folder that was just created. For Mount Point, I'll enter in slash etc slash LinkedIn slash data, then click Next, then Done to complete the setup. I'll then switch over to the container listing and we can see that the LinkedIn container is up and running. Next, I'll SSH into my Synology NAS and issue this command to create the super user or admin account for LinkedIn. The command creates an interactive terminal session with the container and runs the command that follows within the container. Here I'm creating the super user LD admin and associating the user with the email address you see listed. I'll now enter in a password for sudo access, then enter in a password that will be associated with the LD admin account, and repeat the password to complete the setup. At this point, LinkedIn is up and running and is accessible through HTTP using the internal IP address of the Synology NAS, followed by port 9090. Once the web interface is up, I can log in with the admin account that was just created, then create additional accounts by going to Settings, then selecting Admin. Here I'll just add in an account for myself then log out and log back in with my new account. Now I'll add a couple of bookmarks using the Tags field to organize the bookmarks. If you don't want or need to externally access LinkedIn, or rather use a VPN for access, you could stop here in the setup. However, I'll continue and set up external access using DDNS and port forwarding as well as set up an HTTPS reverse proxy. I'll start with setting up DDNS by going to Control Panel, then External Access. Here I'll select DDNS, then click on the Add button. For Service Provider, I'll select Synology and enter in a host name I'd like to use. I'll then enable the option to get a certificate from Let's Encrypt and set it as default. Then click Test Connection, which returns the status of normal. 
I'll then click OK and OK again on this window to confirm the default certificate. After the web server finishes restarting, eDNS should be all set. For port forwarding, I've set up my router to forward port 443 to the corresponding port of my Synology NAS. Now I'll set up the HTTPS reverse proxy by switching to the login portal, select Advanced, then click on Reverse Proxy. Here I'll click on the Create button to bring up the Reverse Proxy Rules window. I'll give the Reverse Proxy a name. Under Source, switch the protocol to HTTPS. Enter in the DDNS hostname that was just set up. And enter in 443 for the port. For destination, protocol remains HTTP. Hostname is localhost and the port will be 9090. I'll click Save and now in a new browser tab, I'll enter in the HTTPS reverse proxy address and as we can see, LinkedIn loads up fine and I'm able to log in successfully as well. Hopefully you find LinkedIn useful for yourself and leave a comment in the description below if you do. Also, to learn more about DDNS, port forwarding, and reverse proxies, check out these videos listed here on screen. Lastly, if you would like to support my work, check out the Support This Channel section in the description below. Thanks so much for watching.